No, that is not my name. You are confusing me with someone else. I told you I have no name. <sighs> what the f are you talking about? <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and today we're gonna play with Chimpbot. Yes, last episode we were playing with Eeveebot, and Eevee was as stupid as a rock. As stupid as a pebble, a rock would be too much. Uh, she <laughs> was really not helpful, and it, uh, you guys suggested to play with Chimpbot, and I'm really curious if Chimpbot is actually gonna do better. Hey Chimpbot, are you excited for 60 seconds? I'm excited, because I'm going to the beach this weekend, carrot underscore carrot. You're going to the beach this weekend, that's fantastic, has nothing to do with the game, but let's just go ahead and start a new one and see how well Chimpbot will fare. Well, first things first, we're gonna have to collect as many items as we can. We're playing in the Fat Man difficulty, um, which is a normal one. Uh, so we have some time to look around and uh, gather uh, some intel where stuff is. All right, there's my daughter here. Let's uh, let's grab the whole family. I say, the more the merrier. Uh, bring that over here. Oh yes, the boys who had book always good. A map. Oh, all the good items. Padlock, playing cards. Okay, these are all very very useful items. I like that the suitcase is right around the corner. Uh, not enough room for a rifle. Uh, I guess we could grab Timmy real quick and the rifle. Then again, I can just drop him off, go over to the next place. Oh yeah, the radio, right. Man, we're, we're, we're rolling well here. Gas mask, uh, med kit, fantastic, okay. How about wife and Timmy? How about that? Okay. Ah, oh, but there's the rifle, hmm. Timmy, I don't know, I don't know if I can come for you. I don't know if I have enough time. We didn't grab too much food, did we now? Okay, where's Timmy? Timmy, 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 where are you sitting? I saw you earlier. <laughs> I forgot where Timmy was sitting. Well, shit happens to me. Sorry to, to tell you, but <laughs> I forgot where he was. Unless I already picked him up and forgot about that. Oh, I actually grabbed Timmy, fantastic. Look at that, that is one beautiful shelter. Let's have a quick look what else we got. All of us made into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. Um, okay, so we've had a can of soup in here before. Uh, what else did we have? Another can of soup, very good. Shelves are full of cans, enough water. Best stock shelter we've ever seen. It's actually really good. Three bottles of water could be more, but hey, I mean, pfft. Beggars can't be choosers, and yeah, we're good. We're good. Nothing to decide. I have a good feeling about this. We can we can do this. Everyone is doing fantastic. The beginning is usually pretty stress-free. I heard about people that got <laughs> raided on the second day. It can happen. But yeah. Didn't happen to me yet. Alright, um I don't think I'm gonna send anyone out yet. We we could ask Chimpot. Hey Chimpot. I live near the coast. So I'm going to the beach. Hey Chimpot, should we send someone out to scavenge supplies? Ah, uh, that works too. Yes, I can I say something about David. Okay, I don't know who David is, but I assume that means we can send we should send someone out. Uh, and, and I think it's gonna be well, we're gonna decide that next time. Uh, mutated runes are attacking our supplies. Yeah, we're gonna take care of those with the rifle. Lack of other choices. Well, nobody shot himself, that's good. But the rifle got damaged. Damn it, the gun blew up when we tried to shoot the thing. Damn it. Ah, what can we do? Okay, so people are starting to get thirsty after three days, that's understandable. Um, yeah, who should go outside? I think Timmy should go, and we're gonna give him a gas mask because it's irradiated. I don't even know what I would want outside except water, but maybe we're lucky and find a lot of water. All right, Timmy went out to the wasteland. We're looking good. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other. Ah, wonderful, they're looking for the Holy Grail. Let's see if we can help them with our map. Handy. Okay, it's day five, meaning it's time for water. Um, ooh, they gave us an axe. That's so nice of them. They were clearly crazy but harmless, so we fulfilled their request and it was worth it. They turned out to be very generous and gave us an axe. Fantastic, a magic battle axe. It looks like a regular one to us. Okay, so let's give everyone a little bit of water. And, oh no, there's an airdrop, but Timmy's out with the gas masks. Damn you, Timmy. Timmy's the worst. Day seven, Timmy hasn't returned yet. It's hard to not worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with this shelter life, but we can't lose hope. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Okay, now everyone's hungry except Ted. Ted, Ted is never hungry the first time. Not surprised with, the, with those reserves. We really missed the life we had. The space, the sky, the food, more food. Hmm, food. Uh, I'm starting to get worried about Timmy. The Geiger counter sounds mm, scary. Font memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality. Water is what Merging needs. Lawrence has to drink. Okay, now Ted is hungry. You shall have some soup. 
Mary Jane didn't utter a single word today. This is very odd. Maybe someone should find out what's going on with her. Oh, should we? Should we talk to Mary Jane? Well, not really. The only thing I'm listening to at the moment is at the gala from the best night ever. <laughs> okay. I mean, you can listen to whatever you want, Chimpot, but I think that says that's a clear no, so we're not going to talk to Mary Jane here. Oh, Timmy Speck! Yay, Timmy! What did you bring back? Ah, uh, we were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us. Mary Jane started talking again. She's a strong young lady. She can handle herself. Thank you, Shimpot. That was definitely the right choice. Um, one bottle of water. Ah, not a good trade-in for the gas mask, Timmy. I'm a little bit disappointed, but at least it's something. Timmy should really eat something. Okay. Well, Timmy, let's feed you then. Okay, um, I think we're gonna prepare an expedition. We're gonna send Mary Jane. We, we can wait a little bit, I guess. All right, difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation. Ah, we can do this. Do you have some advice for us, Chimpot? And there are ten types of people in the world. Those that understand binary and those that don't write. <sighs> that is such a shitty joke. Also, you didn't understand me at all. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation in we're in is far from normal and we might never get used to it. We hope that help comes soon. Timmy should eat. Ah, that thing where Timmy needs more and more food, right? Okay, everyone gets water because it's that time again, and we have to feed Timmy, I think, two more times, and then he's gonna be fed. It's weird. Um. All right. Oh, man, as we're about to start our book club discussion, the only book we've read, the phone book, we were interrupted by Rapid knocking at the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. Okay, they want goods. Should we give the survivors supplies? So, do you think there is a god? Oh, okay. So, you're saying we should, you know, God will take care of them, God will provide for them and give them what they need? Yeah, I thought so too. I thought so too. There, God, God be with you. God will be with you and... Oh, what? What? <laughs> our refusal to provide for our visitors was not rude, and yet the minute we denied a request, they launched at us with their fists, store stones and branches. We thought we were as good as dead, but those barbarians were satisfied enough to steal our supplies. When they left, all we could do was ponder what to do in this very, very empty shelter. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Chimpot. It's all your fault. Oh, man. <laughs> wow, I never had that happen. Well, that's what you get for being an ass in this game. Oh, you're not worried? Mary Jane is not worried? Oh, everyone, everyone is gonna die. You're, you're aware that that is gonna happen. Absolutely. I mean, we can't, we... I'm gonna send Mary Jane just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Why, why did it make that sound again? When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear... Oh, a gasp of relief on the collar. Okay, we got that one. We don't have a whole lot of time, honestly. Um... <laughs> This is pretty lost. I mean, I'm preparing an expedition for tomorrow, but unless she comes back in no time, everyone's gonna die in three days. I'm gonna try it anyway, man. Chimpot, you're the worst. Don't worry, old yeller. We'll take you to the doctor and you'll be good as new. <laughs> no doctor will be able to help us here, Chimpot. Well, let's send Mary Jane outside. Not that we can give her any kind of supplies because everything is ruined. Fantastic. Well... <laughs> Good job. Well, it is day 15. You know what that means. Five days without water. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's try that again. Well, hopefully I'm as lucky as last time when it comes to grabbing items. Hey, hey girl. How you doing? Okay, so shelter's over here. Might as well start a little bit further away. And... Looks good. Radio. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Fantastic, and the med kit. I'll take that, thank you very much. And, oh, ammunition. Why not? Okay, I think we're gonna go with the daughter next. I mean, she can turn into a mutant, which makes her a valuable asset. Um, the stuff we can grab last. Boy Scout book, Timmy. Come here, Timmy, 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 Timmy. Whoa, what happened there? Timmy and the map. Oh, damn it, playing cards. I don't need playing cards, I need a map. Oh well. Best we can do. Okay, Dolores, because I always want a second adult in there. And the gas mask. Okay, there's the rifle. Okay, I think we can grab a lot of stuff here now. Grab all of that stuff. Come on, come on. Weasel, 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 weasel. It's all... Uh, too close. Not happy about... Okay, nope, can't make it. Whew. All right, we got plenty of stuff. We got plenty of family. We got all the things we could ever ask for. Except the flashlight. And a few other goodies. It could be worse. We don't know what we're gonna find. 
Also, maybe we have some- Actually, this looks really good. No box spray, uh, no flashlight, but we found another soup can and a map in our package. That's good. All right, Chimpot, this time we have to do it. I'm giving you a second chance, another lease on life. I think for the, for now we're gonna stay a little bit until we run low on water, which should happen fairly soon. I think day 10, we should send him between day 5 and day 10 because we're gonna run out of water otherwise. Uh, it's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Our sleeping patterns are messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping. Too bad we can't replace them. There has to be something else we can do about this. Well, the question is, are we gonna use a med kit? Should we use the med kit? No. You're not very good at listening. What kind of tacos do bears like? I don't know what kind of tacos bear like, bears like, Chimpot, but I guess the no is clear. So, let's hope they're not all crazy. Actually, hmm, they slept okay, apparently. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we try to get sleep. No luck. Well, usually they're super tired, but they seem to be okay, actually. Thank you, Chimpot. Chimpot is best bot, so far. Still better than Eevee. He was really ruining it. Good news, everyone. The government just announced. Ooh, yes, we're gonna get crates. I don't even need to ask Chimpot here. I want. I want to get the crates. We're finally here when that drops. Let's see what we got. Oh yes. Would you look at that? Beautiful. Two bottles of water. Two cans of soup. Very well. Okay, it's time to give water. We can stay longer here now. That's fantastic. We don't have to go out and scavenge yet. We just have to deal with the events that come up. That's a fantastically stocked shelter. As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Nothing new bothering Mary Jane. No news is good news. I agree. Dolores says she's fine, but we're not sure. You can't trust her. What's that? It seems like a distant rumble, but it's getting louder. Ah, oh, it's an earthquake. Okay. Do we save the gas mask or the radio? I was merely stating observation. That was not a complaint. That doesn't really help me. Should we save the radio? We stop fighting each other and accept our differences. I'm gonna say that, um, uh, I'm gonna go with the radio here. <laughs> Earthquake or not, nothing is going to stand between us and our daily dose of radio static. Yeah, we lost our gas mask, which is a bummer, but we have enough supply so we don't need to go out right now and we might be able to go out once the area is not irradiated anymore and the only way to find that out is through the radio. Mary Jane is quite hungry, Timmy's very hungry, Dolores would love to eat, and Ted is hungry. Alright, good, 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 everyone gets food. Ah, neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Yeah, I'm, I, I assume so, it's gonna be radioactive for many years, but... Yeah, let's assume it's only a week. The last thing you expected to hear was a trumpet. It was played by someone who's clearly not a trumpet player and who had probably never heard a trumpet player in his entire life. Oh, yeah, the Merry Men. Oh, they would steal so much stuff from us. They would... Okay, I'm gonna ask Chimpot. This is, this is Chimpot's decision. Should we let the Merry Men enter? We should learn how to save the world. Place a donation in order to stop whale killing. I absolutely agree with that. But that it doesn't answer my question. Should we let them in? You are welcome. My door is opened wide and uh -oh. filled my heart. Okay. I'm gonna say that's yes. My door is open wide. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna say that's a yes. Well, they're gonna steal something. That's obvious. Let's see what they steal. Mmm. They stole the radio and the ammunition. Radio and ammunition. Well, at least I didn't steal any food. That's okay. Thank you, Chimpot. We had the most curious visitors today. Oh, it's 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 they're looking for the Holy Grail. It's it's the Monty Python crew <laughs> looking for the Holy Grail. Yeah, let's let let them look on the map. I'm okay with that. Maybe they'll give us an axe. Nope, they did not. But they gave us checkers board. Nice. Very good. All right, day ten. Day eleven is when everything went wrong. So. Maybe we can break the record here. You can do it, Chimpot. You can do it. Okay, time to give him water. It's day 10. Radioactive. Oh, yeah, we can't listen to the radio. That's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, someone took it. If there's one thing we need to do, it's to use a radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. I agree. Mary Jane says she's fine, doesn't need anything. He's just doing fine, calm. Everything's good with everyone. That makes me happy. As we're about to start book club discussion on the only book we've all read. Oh, that, that is very convenient. It's exactly the same timing. Interesting. All right. So, <laughs> I guess we're going to give him something. The question is, are we going to give him a med pack? Food, water, or med kit? Is someone watching us? No, nobody's watching us, but I do need an answer. Of course. If I wasn't watching me, then I would have to be unconsciously typing somehow. Which is preposterous. What? 
Should we give them water? How could we do that? You don't have a physical body, do you? No, I, I, I do have a physical body, so I, I could give them water, which I'm, I'm going to do. I'm, I'm gonna roll with that. Who comes up with this stuff? The internet is a weird place. Our visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude, and if you wouldn't have given them something, they would have punched us in the face and stolen everything. Great visitors. It's like being held hostage. Being held hostage for ransom. All right, Timmy seems okay. Everything's good. Everyone's doing well. It's day 12. Things are looking up. I think I'm gonna send someone on an expedition. I think we're gonna <sighs> sacrifice one of the kids. What do you think about Timmy? Time is relative to the person experiencing it. For some, it's fast and others, it is slow. Are you are you are you chim philosopher? What what the hell? This is not. This is so not helping. You might not be as silly as Eve in the things you say, but they make no sense. You just spurt random stuff. Mary Jane is quite hungry, Timmy wants water, Dolores is hungry. Okay, so we have Dolores and Timmy. Oh, sorry, Mary Jane and Dolores. The women folk! Okay, we need to send someone because we're running low on supplies. I say I'm gonna give Timmy the suitcase, a rifle, a map, and the Boy Scout book. He's gonna get all the good items. All the good items. And hopefully that helps. Man, it looks really empty in here right now. Alright, Timmy went out to the wasteland. Dolores will not survive without water. She will. Okay, Ted is hungry now. Good. I was wondering when that would happen. We never thought we'd see to live. <laughs> we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that wasn't nearly as big as a cat. I'm screwed. I can't do anything. We have a big cockroach that's probably gonna steal some of our soup. They kind of tend to do that. Nope. We just appeared on the ground. Yuck! Mutant cockroach. Lovely. Oh my! That thing is huge. And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. Hmm. Well, I mean, nobody's sick yet, so that's good. Just eat them. It's gonna be fine. Lots of protein. Okay, it's time for some water. Uh, oh yeah, we're really running low. Let's hope that Timmy brings us back some water. Otherwise, we're completely screwed. Not even Chimpot is gonna help us there. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Mary Jane says she's fine, doesn't need anything, is fine and well. All right, everyone's happy. Okay, ooh, a traveling salesman. Ooh, okay, we could give him a checkers or the playing cards. Checkers or playing cards. Of course, it is 9.35 a.m. Should we give the trader checkers? Sure, seems to be happening plenty anyway. <laughs> okay, that's an answer, fantastic, I will have that. I will I will give him checkers. Cha-ching, wonderful. Ooh, Timmy's back, and Timmy completely failed from what it looks like. Ah, <sighs> okay, so you brought back all the things, so that's good. Um, Except the Boy Scout book. Timmy, what did you... <sighs> Timmy, what did you do to the Boy Scout book? Before our expedition could get anywhere, we ran into a group of freaky people dressed like wizards. They were eager to trade some of their supplies for new items. It sounded like a fair deal. They wanted us to sell their radio. They claimed it was evil and whispers about the return of the Dark Lord. We gave them a bottle cap. That scout handbook was really useful. Too bad we lost it during the expedition. Thank you, Timmy. Good job, Timmy. Timmy should eat something. Timmy fell sick. Timmy's really tired. Timmy can suck it. Timmy's not getting anything. You lost the Boy Scout book. Worst. All right, we're gonna prepare an expedition. We're gonna send Mary Jane. If there's anyone who can rescue us from the cell situation, it's our government. Yes, let's listen in and let's see what they have to say. Hopefully, only good things. We're a little bit low on water, though. The government has not fallen. They're coming to save us. Yeah, you believe that. You keep believing. Water is what Mary Jane needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Timmy needs food. Timmy needs lots of things. Timmy's not getting anything. Okay, Mary Jane, gonna give you the map. Just the map. Let's let's see what you can make happen with just the map. Well, Timmy's gone. What a bummer. I'm I'm really really sorry about that. Well, hunger drove Timmy insane when he realized he won't be able to provide for him. He snuck out and never returned. Mary Jane went outside and she yeah got the map. Okay, Dolores seems to be hungry. And water tomorrow. Okay, here's some food. We got plenty of soup. Soup is not the problem. Oh, okay. Uh, what's happening? Oh, the cockroaches. Ooh, okay. Should we deal with them? Should we shoot the cockroaches? I just meant keep your conversations in order. Don't forget who you are talking to. Jim. Whoa. Yeah, cut down with the sass there. Wheatley, come here. <laughs> There's drilling outside, and Wheatley is all out of shape. It's not a bird, it's a drill. Well, I'm still not sure if I should use the rifle or not. Should we shoot them? See what I mean. 
You must have me confused with someone else. All right, that's a no. I'm, I'm gonna say no to that. Oh, well, hmm. Doesn't, doesn't see that it helps. Living with roaches can't be too bad, right? Even if they're stealing your pillows, socks, and wallets. What? Why would you need a wallet for anymore? The world has ended. Anyway, Dolores will not survive without water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, here's some water for both of you. Well, they can survive for five to six more days. For an isolated fallout shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Oh, yeah, we can check under the floor with any of these items, so... I'm just gonna have to skip that. Oh, no! Ted, what happened to you? Going into the tight dark tunnel is not a good idea, especially with those weird noises coming from it. They're giving us the creeps, even up here. Well, Ted has gone crazy. There's worse things that could happen to you. Like, you could die. And that's pretty much it. We always wanted a pet, but we just couldn't decide what to get. A cat? A dog? No matter! We have our very own cockroach colony now. Um... Well, let's let's not shoot them. We we we're not violent people, according to chimp, chimpbot, chomp, shot. Our time will come, but for the time being, we'll just have to adapt to this living situation. Well, I mean, they don't seem to be too bothered by it. The laws will not last. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all okay. Please, please, Mary Jane, bring back some good stuff. We decided to peek outside just for a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. Ah, oh, yes, it's Pancake. Pancake is waiting for us. Um, yeah, we're just gonna scream at him, which should make him run away. I'm not gonna shoot him, I'm not even gonna ask Chimpbot. Should we shoot Pancake? <laughs> we felt it was too risky to face whatever horror awaited in the shadows. We did what any sane person would do, we shut the door, the creature was gone the next morning. The lores will not survive without water, yes. Ooh! Oh, jeez. Okay, we have a situation on our hands. There's a group approaching our shelter and they don't seem like the occasional friendly scavengers you run into. Not at all. They look like they're out for blood. Or cans. Probably cans. This is terrible time for humanity if canned soup is enough to turn us into monsters. Anyway, we need to defend ourselves. Uh, padlock or rifle? Should we use the rifle? We have already confirmed that I'm human. I consider myself to be quite intelligent. I mean, that's all dandy. But I don't really know what this has to do with the situation at hand. Tell me what to do, Chimpot. No, that is not my name. You are confusing me with someone else. I told you I have no name. <sighs> what the fuck? Are you talking about last time? Should we use the rifle or not? You are forgiven. As you said, there is much stupidity out there. Well, I'm looking right at it. I'm looking right at it. We're gonna use the rifle, we're gonna defend ourselves. It's like talking to a chimp. Oh, Mary Jane is back! Yay! Mary Jane, you... brought back... a can of soup. These... My kids are useless in this game. Wow, Ted. What did you breathe there? They're completely useless. A can of soup. We have plenty of soup. Well, let's give him something to 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 drink and to eat. Why not? We had, well, we thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing. Well, it's ringing. We're gonna send Dolores. I wanna I wanna get the survivors there. I wanna talk to them, which seems like a super good idea considering that there's people outside. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. Very good. Those should be the twins. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Dolores hasn't eaten. Sure, I'm, I'm gonna give everyone food. We need to send someone. Oh, open in the name of freedom came a shout from outside the door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? Should we open the door? Open the door, get on the floor, everybody walk the dino door. It can't get more obvious than this. We're supposed to open the door. And this is this is Chimpot's fault. If if we're getting raided, that's Chimpot's doing. Okay. When we peeked outside, we were greeted by a group of high school students. They were well equipped and looked like they could take care of themselves. They questioned us about enemy combatants in the area. We couldn't help them, but they were happy to leave one of their spare axes with us in case we needed to defend ourselves. When we asked why would they help us, they replied, it's what Wolverines do. <laughs> Alright, we got an axe. Sweet. That... Thank you, Chimpot. Alright, so Mary Jane is quite hungry. Everything seems to be okay with the lore. It's fantastic. Here, have some food. I mean, we need to send someone. And we're gonna send 
Dolores moving that. You know what? We're gonna send Ted. Ted will relax. Let, let the man of the household do the work for once, and let's see how this goes. <sighs> Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Maybe. Ted left for the surface. All right, he just needs an axe. He's gonna be fine. Okay. Um, if you don't do anything about roaches in your home, you will end up with more roaches. That's not a deal. If we don't do anything about it, we will end all glowy just like them. We can't do anything because we're missing all the key ingredients for that. So, we're... Yeah, we're sick. Good. Good, the cockroaches bit us or something. Living with roaches can't be too bad, even if they're stealing your pillows. Well, Dolores came down with a sickness. Mary Jane keeps fainting, okay. Um, that's a problem. Today we were visited by a strange looking little man who introduced himself as a traitor. He insisted his prices are so low that it's practically like cutting his own throat. Ah, Pratchett, uh, the least we could do was take a look at this offer, although for some reason we don't really trust him. Hmm, um, oh, that's not really good, I gotta say. Hmm, uh, I'm not gonna trade in the playing cards. I'm just gonna skip that one. I wouldn't even know how to ask that. All right, I think we're gonna give Dolores a med kit. That's probably a good idea. Here. And, uh, oh, I have no water. Oh, jeez, we ran out of water. I forgot about that. I mean, nothing I can do, we're just gonna die. Maybe, just maybe, Ted comes back. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in ours, none at all. Oh. Words are, uh, unless Ted comes back now. Nope, Ted doesn't come back. Everyone's dead. So dead. <laughs> ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. Yes, so fortunate. When Mary Jane found out she's not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. We don't have water. Your mother died there. Don't get furious. Don't get get snappy. Ah well, Ted has been outside for far too long and he still has not returned. We fear he isn't coming back. We didn't make it. These are our final words and our advice to anyone who reads this. I have no idea what your advice is. Well then, yes, Ted did not return and we perished. Anyway, we perished. That was, uh, well, more successful than playing with Eevee, even though, yeah, Chimpot is also hard to understand. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. And I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye! Say bye-bye, Chimpot. I met you in a cave you were painting buffalo. What? <sighs> Bye.